Hi YouTube, welcome to another coding video. In this video we're going to link into this product here, the Unify G3 Flex. And I've got this installed with Unify Protect and we're going to be looking into integrating this into Home Assistant. Let's get started. I'm going to give you guys a big thank you for subscribing to all of the subscribers or from everyone that's made a comment or a like or a dislike in the previous video that's really good to get feedback especially for a new youtuber like me and i'm ready to go so let's get started okay cool so let's start so i'm going to be using the camera integration of home assistant and our, what we'll be doing we'll be integrating a live stream of our unify g3 plex camera and it will be running within the within the dashboard itself so as you can see here on this page, you've got various options and configuration that you can set. You can set uh, motion detection, uh, streams, so there's quite a lot you can do. So but this is quite different from each camera. There are several types of integrations you can actually use within a Home Assistant. It's quite comprehensive actually. So what we'll be doing is the Ubiquiti Unify video. And this is going to be the written text guide. If you need to refer to it, I'll leave a link in the description, but we'll go straight into the coding and I'll show you exactly what you need to fill in to get this up and running. Okay, so now we're in the configuration.yaml file and we can start typing out some of our code. So the first thing we need to define is we're going to use the camera integration and we'll be using the generic platform so name will be given this I'm um, going to call it either UVC flex as that's the product name so a few things we need to specify we need to specify the still image URL we need to specify the stream source and also we need to uh, specify if we're going to verify uh, SSL or not so I'll do this, I'll fill in the details. Stream source. As usual, I'll, I'll, um, I'll be working on the blog post immediately after this. And if you're watching this in the future, you can just find the link below where you find all this code. You can just easily copy and paste. Okay, perfect. So we filled everything out. So I'm not going to be using the verify SSL, so I'm going to flag that as false. So what we really need is we need to find the still image URL and the stream source. So the, the, these are going to be a little bit different. So we're going to do the stream source first, as that's the main live camera feed. And we're going to be using the RTSP uh, protocol. So what we need to do is we need to switch to Unify Protect now. Okay, so I've logged into the Unify Protect and as you can see, I'm at 192.168.1.3 and I have two cameras paired. I have a UVC G3 dome, which I use here, and I've got a, a, a UVC G3 flex, which is this one here. And I've uh, got them set up with two static, um, static addresses, so this all don't change. And here we need to navigate to the camera. We need to go to manage and the RTSP option. We click on that and we need to turn it on. So you'll have it off and you'll need to tap on. Now you have three settings. You have high, medium, low definition. I would recommend to use the high definition. So get this text, copy it. and go back to Home Assistant and paste that in. And we can save that. Let's do the still image now. So still image is like your, basically like a thumbnail, as far as I understand. 
So in order to do that, you're going to need to find the IP address of the specific camera. So where a lot of people go wrong is they use the IP address of the Unified Protect, like we did here, and they just copy paste it on, on top, and then that doesn't work because you need to specify the IP address of the specific camera, not the IP address of the Unified Protect. So in our example, our IP address is 192.168.1.49 Okay, and I'll just put an HTTP in front of it. And the file is under, I think it's snap.jpg. I wonder if it's not specified here. So it should be slash snap.jpg. That should be the file that you need to specify. Let me give this a space. Let's indent this all properly. Okay, cool, good. Got a green check. And now it's time to double check our code, restart Home Assistant and add it to the Lovelace dashboard. See you in a bit. Assistant, and we're back in again, we've reconnected. And now it's time to add our camera into the dashboard. So let's go to the three dots here on the right hand side and go to configure UI. And let's click, click this plus sign to add a new card. Now what we will need is, is something called a picture entity. So we just click on, click on picture entity and pick the entity that we need. So I, we, I call my one a UVC G3 Flex. And we can pick the camera entity. And we can click save. So as you can see, that's added my camera. Uh, that looks all good. However, uh, this actually isn't refreshing live. It's not taking a live stream yet. So you see this number changes, but it doesn't change instantaneously. So we want something like a live stream, something that will be similar to what we can see from Unified Protect. So let's go back into the options. Let's edit it again. And now this time, we're going to toggle the camera view option from auto to live. Now, bear in mind, this is going to um, consume more resources on your home assistant server. It's not a problem for me because I'm running it on a NAS, but if you're using uh, a low power PC, that might cause you a problem. So be, be aware of that, depending also on how many cameras you have and how many feeds you have coming in. You can save that and we can close this. And as you can see now, the, the sort of time is moving smoothly. So this should be updating live. So there shouldn't be any problem. So really that brings the end uh, to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, I've got many more videos, Home Assistant videos, and also uh, Unify videos in the future. Take care.